Feeding a meter is something New Yorkers can do with their eyes closed, but that's if they can get to it first. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. The city is, is they lost their mind. It's an eternal New York truth. Come hell or high snow, parking meters will be in effect. I have a broken hip, so this is very dangerous. Not acceptable, especially if you have like bad hip or bad legs. After fumbling to speak with one driver, he told me these piles on 86th Street in Bay Ridge aren't even the worst he's seen. Over here, this is nothing. This is like a paradise. And if you choose not to pay the meter, you'll get a visit from these guys and a $65 ticket. But many are asking, if alternate side is suspended, can't meters be too? I think they should just ban it all together until the snow goes away. Councilman David Greenfield agrees and is spearheading legislation that could take the meters out of service whenever alternate side is suspended for snow. You actually have to be a hiker to get to those meters sometimes because those mountains of snow are so high. The bill was first proposed last year, but fell through. The last statement the sanitation department has made on the topic says they would review it, but might again oppose it since, quote, we need access to curbs with meters during snow clearing operations. Many of these metered areas are near commercial shopping areas and transportation hubs. Many alternate side parking areas are not. After multiple calls to the Department of Transportation, they would not tell us just how much the city makes each day on meters, but it has been reported that it's close to 700,000. Some today said it's just pure greed. We pay a lot of taxes. Just try to do something better. The city cares about making a buck. Greenfield hopes his bill will be passed within the next two years. But for now, drivers will just have to keep on feeding the meters. Reporting for Currents, I'm Michelle Powers.